Hello and welcome everyone to online lectures. We are or we have discussed in our previous lecture. We have discussed already what is mean by environmental chemistry. What are the different disciplines to which environmental chemistry is connected and the relation between them. And next we have discussed terminologies. What terminologies are there which are related to environmental chemistry? So after observing all that or observe after seeing all that terminologies, we are going to discuss. Environmental. Next term, it is environmental pollution and classification. So, what is mean by environmental pollution? The environmental pollution. The term pollution is come from the Latin word. It is pollutinum, and it is Latin word. It is. It means it in a line or to make the dirty. Okay. So, it is unfavorable, unfavorable change of our environment, largely because of human, largely because of human activities. Okay. So, pollution can be defined in different ways so so many different types of definitions are made for the term pollution so firstly uh, pollution is let's see the definition for so first definition we are going to observe it is pollution it is nothing but the nuisance nuisance or nuisance means a trouble or nemesis it is nothing but the revenge it is nuisance or nemesis is deliberate or accidental contamination of environment with the animals waste okay means only with the help of animal waste the pollutant or the environment is getting contaminated so it is come under the pollution so next definition for the pollution is made like pollution is an undesirable change in physical chemical and biological characteristics of air water and soil that may harmfully affect man animal and the plant life industrial progress and living condition and cultural assets so all these factors are getting affected okay like man animal plant life industrial progress living condition cultural assets all these factors are getting affected by this a uh, pollutant or air water or soil in physical and chemical changes so it is going to come under the pollution next term is uh, pollution so next definition for pollution is pollution is nothing but accumulation of any foreign material like organic inorganic biological or radiological in nature which may affect living organisms directly or indirectly immediate after a immediately or maybe after long time so they are the foreign particles uh, suppose organic are there inorganic are there biological or radiological they are present in the nature okay they are in the nature and they may be affect living organism either they are affecting directly or indirectly or they can affect immediately or after the long time next definition is the contamination of harmful constituents of water air and soil which adversely change the natural quality of environment so the quality of environment is changed and it is changed adversely okay adversely changed with the contamination of harmful constituents of water and air soil so it is pollution so these are the different definitions given for the word pollution and next we are going to see the point classification of pollution so very firstly we are going to discuss classification is done with the help of two processes so firstly it is done according to the environment so according to environment only three types of pollution is there air water air pollution water pollution and soil pollution but if we see the second type first one is according to environment second is according to pollutant suppose we are going to observe according to pollutant there are lot of types are there radioactive is there noise pollution is there thermal pollution pesticide oceanic chemical industrial and population definition of pollutant pollutant it is nothing but a physical or biotic component it adversely changes environment by the growth rate of species okay means the rate or growth rate of the species is changing adversely so it is come under the pollutant then next term is units of concentration so what are the units of concentration then that we are going to see so um, mostly concentrations of pollutant are conventionally expressed as a fraction usually pollutant are toxic even at very low concentration yes some uh, constituents or some molecules are in very low concentration in part per million part per billion or part per trillion 
PPHM is there. PPHM is part per hundred million. All these terms are there. They are present in very low quantity, but then also they are very toxic at very low concentration. So when uh, concentration of pollutant is high, it is expressed in percent. That is part per hundred. These fractional expression of concentrations are con inconvertible as shown below. So one ppm is nothing but zero point zero 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 one percent. Again, it is equal to hundred ppm. Part per hundred million, thousand ppb part per billion, and then ten lakh ppt part per tri trillion. Then suppose liquid and solid samples are there, then they are referred to part per weight. Okay, for example, suppose four ppm of the dissolved oxygen level is there, it refers to four parts of dissolved oxygen in ten raised to six. Parts of water by weight. One liter water is ten raised to three mL of water. That is ten raised to three gram of water, and in mg it is ten raised to six. Okay. So again, gaseous samples are there. Gaseous samples are also referred to volume, number of molecule per unit volume centimeter of air. Okay. Another unit for gaseous sample is number of molecules per unit volume. That is centimeter cube of air. Then third unit for gaseous sample is third unit for gaseous sample is mass per unit volume. Okay, usually microgram per cubic meter of air, microgram per cubic meter of air. This can be related to fractional unit. Then these are the all unit of concentration related to environmental chemistry or the pollution or the pollutant. Yes, solid and liquid, all the pollutant or all the terms are having different types of unit so all these units we have seen here and now we are going to discuss segment of environment so segments of environment there are four segments environment is made up of four different segment firstly atmosphere hydrosphere lithosphere and biosphere okay so let us see atmosphere so atmosphere is nothing but it is a protective blanket of gases surrounding the earth okay so different different type of gases are there and they are forming a blanket and it is a protective blanket surrounding the earth it is atmosphere again it sustains life on earth and saves it from the hostilities of outer space whatever the outer space hostilities are there from that we are safe because of atmosphere Thus, it absorbs most of the cosmic rays from the outer space and high energy portion of electromagnetic radiation from the sun. So, what is the role of atmosphere? The role of atmosphere is to absorb the cosmic rays and the electromagnetic radiation from the sun. So, nextly, we can easily see atmosphere is the source of gases which is very essential for life. Then it supplies oxygen for the essential aerobic life. Then CO2 also supplied by the atmosphere. Again, it is essential for plant photosynthesis. N2 gas, nitrogen, it is uh, important for conversion by nitrogen fixing bacteria and atmospheric reaction into chemical bound nitrogen becomes available to organism. Atmosphere is vital carrier of water from ocean to land as a part of hydrologic cycle. So all these terms are associated with the atmosphere then second segment is hydrosphere so hydrosphere is nothing but it including all the types of water resources okay which water resources then it uh, is ocean sea river lake stream reservoir glaciers polar ice caps and groundwater so different type of water resources are there and all these water resources are come under the hydrosphere hydro means water and then about 97% of water, 97% of earth's total water supply is in the ocean, highly salty water. About 2% water, two water in the polar ice caps and glaciers. But only 1% of water is available as a fresh water, that is surface water and ground water for the use of human. Means we are using it for the drinking water. The major use of fresh water is for irrigation. Means for irrigation we are using it is near about 30 percent we are using for the irrigation then for thermal power plants we are using about 50 percent 
industrial consumption is about 12 percent and again near about 7 percent water we are using for domestic purpose so only this much amount of water we are using for domestic purpose lastly thermal power plants are having lastly only thermal pl power plants are consuming near about 50 percent of water from that one percent again surface water is get contaminated surface water is get contaminated by pesticide fertilizer in agriculture runoff of water then human and animal waste in sewage industrial waste posing serious problem to the aquatic life and mankind means all the uh, these things are there which are contaminating the water or the surface water then next uh, segment is there it is a lithosphere so lithosphere it is nothing but it is outer mantle mantle means cover it is outer co outer cover of the solid earth it consists of mineral occurring in earth crust and the soil so whatever the mineral are present in earth crust and soil they are present in the lithosphere okay it is a complex mixture of mineral organic matter air and water together constitute the soil which form the most important part of lithosphere important part of the lithosphere consisting this element lithosphere is a part of earth which is accessible to water okay then after some industrial mining and household activities agricultural produce large quantities of solid waste we know very well that large quantity of waste solid waste is uh, come from industrial area mining area agricultural and household activities which is polluting the lithosphere okay which is polluting the lithosphere and the disposal of such type of waste disposal of such type of solid waste is become a severe environmental problem it is called causing a lot of problem to the environment the next segment is there it is biosphere so biosphere denotes living organism and their interaction with the other three segments of environment okay means biosphere is in relation with living organism and also it is interacting with hydrosphere atmosphere and lithosphere okay it is made up of small ecosystem smaller units of ecosystem so whatever smaller units of ecosystem are there then biosphere is made up of that smaller units they are called as ecosystem again next next we can see uh, composition of other three segment of environment is consequence of various life processes occurring in biosphere means there are a lot of spaces uh, processes are occurring in the environment continuously and bio biochemical processes are there uh, suppose important processes in biosphere are respiration and photosynthesis okay so these natural cycles are occur in the environmental environment they are providing a mechanism for continuous circulation of various elements they are providing a mechanism for continuous circulation of various elements like carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus. They are very essential for life within the four segments of environment. So then after we are going to discuss biogeochemical natural cycles in the environment. There are different type of cycles in the environment. Out of that some important we are going to discuss. Okay. So biogeochemical cycles in the environment. So uh, biosphere is consist of earth crust earth crust is come under the biosphere as biosphere is very complex it is divided into smaller unit called as ecosystem okay we have seen it it is called as ecosystem these ecosystems can be divided as biotic and biotic and abiotic biotic means living and abiotic means non-living okay so biogeochemical cycles in the environment are cyclic pathways they are the cyclic pathways in this cycle a regular and continuous transition of element occur from the environment okay transition of element is occurring in the in the form from the environment the meaning of word bio geochemical so meaning of bio geochemical that we are going to see bio means living organism geo means soil environment and chemical is elements such as carbon sulfur and phosphorus which undergo transition continuously carbon sulfur phosphorus which undergo transition continuously okay the cycles are there two types of cycle first is sedimentary cycle and second one is gaseous cycle so sedimentary cycle it is the reservoir pool in the sediment reservoir pool in the sediment example is sulfur and phosphorus cycle whereas gaseous cycle are the reservoir pool in the atmosphere okay reservoir pool in the atmosphere and examples are oxygen carbon hydrogen nitrogen cycles these are the example 
Again, the natural cycle and ecosystem operate in a balanced manner. They stabilize the whole biosphere and sustains the life processes on the earth. Okay, whatever the natural systems are there in the environment and the ecosystems are there, they are always cooperating with each other and they are operating in very balanced manner. Means very a balanced equation is there in between the ecosystem and the natural cycle. They are stabilizing the whole biosphere. Okay, and they are the only one which are helping in sustain sustaining the life processes on the earth. So here we will stop again and we are going to discuss all the important cycles in our next lecture. So thank you. So thank you for watching the lecture. Thank you.